Uh, Super, how have you personally voted in this referendum? Obviously for the Republic. Very instant answer there. Um, So, I presume you're quite proud of how you voted? Oh, definitely. And I feel like every single Irishman that voted yes on that ballot should be proud of their decision, as their decision may help change history. In what way do you think it'll change history? Well, to change history, we must first go back into history. So? 1916, for example, when our grand, when our great grandfathers finally told the British, "We are done with your abusement of our people." Sadly, they lost, but we will remember the 13 leaders that have been executed. But how do you think every... that has occurred in Ireland, realistically? Can you repeat the question? Sorry. Uh, with regards to British oppression, how do you think that has occurred? Um in association to Ireland nowadays? Well, let me ask you a question. Are we a domain? Are um, we loyal to the crown? We are, yeah. Well, in that case, we're not Irish. We're loyalists. So you we're believe our identity lies further than that? I believe once we go into the Republic and once again say to Britain, we are Irish, we are independent, we do not need to listen to the crown or you. I believe once we do that, it will be... Pretty much like dominoes. Soon we're independent, we're a republic. The next thing you know, we'll be one unified country again. Ah, so you think a republic would eventually lead to a united Ireland? Yes. The more oh, and more I... we step our foot down against their abusements against our people, the more and more we become one fully unified nation. How do you think this will affect us on the world stage? Respect. We will definitely gain respect for our movements, for our goals and for our in the way that we peacefully slammed our foot down and uh lastly what result are you expecting from this referendum honestly i cannot tell you i don't really know what's happening in the future but i can say the future is definitely looking green all right okay well thank you so much for that interview and i'm sure there'll be more to come thank you oh you're welcome so, starting off, how did you personally vote in this Republic uh, and Dominion referendum? Uh, I mean, being a Republican party, I mean, it's quite obvious that we'd vote for a Republic. I mean, the Dominion system has um, gone on today, to be honest, and I think we need progression. I think progression is when most people want Republican or Loyalist. I think most Loyalists are more affiliated with the Commonwealth than I'm keeping Ireland a Republic or not. They, I, sorry. Than keeping Ireland in dominion or not, I think they actually don't really care for a republic. I think they more care about the fact that we remain in the Commonwealth, which I wholeheartedly support being in the Commonwealth. So, um, yeah, we see, of course, I voted yes in this referendum. Okay, okay. What result do you think we can actually expect from the end of the evening? Uh, I feel we can expect a Republican majority, to be honest. I mean, the new campaign has um, gained support, I mean, over the past uh, few days. Uh, surprisingly, um, you know, they've gone up in the polls, but I still feel that we will win by at least like a 65% margin um, in this re referendum. Interesting, right. Okay. How do you think this will benefit Ireland, if at all? Um, I think... Wait, wait Kyle, did you say Republic? Or... Yeah, if we, if we are made a Republic, how do you think this will benefit Ireland? I think if her benefited republic, I think would have a more democratic uh, process of electing her head of state. I mean, the current governor general is not a part of the head of state. I'm sorry, it's not an elected head of state. And I think that is absolutely bogus that we don't have an elected head of state. Now, I feel in the same time, it will give us more control of our own destiny and our own foreign policy, you know, which has always strictly been British and we've always strictly followed the British when it comes to foreign policy. Um, maybe not when it comes to the UN, but really when it comes to everything else, we have been quite close with the British. Um, and I think it is time we will go away from that direction to a more pro-European direction. So yeah, I think the Republic gives an added benefit of controlling our foreign affairs and just in general, a greater freedom for everyone, you know, to choose, you know, what path, what path we should go forward without the limitation of the monarchy. Okay, okay. Interesting to hear. Um, and last, what was was this the result you expected when the campaign first started? Um, I think honestly it is the result I am expecting because I mean, most people seem to be absolutely fine with the republic. I think any time if this referendum was done earlier, it would have not passed at all. I think purely just because we were not at the proper state of, 
um, progress and other department state of stability. This stability has ever since um, improved in a very great manner. Um, so I do expect the good results, and I do think this will pass um, undoubtedly. Um, if I'm somehow wrong in this, then I will actually be very, very surprised to see if this referendum actually fails. And I don't think it will, but if it does, I mean, yeah, I'd be surprised if it did, but yep. I get you, I get you. And I hate, I hate to add on length, but I'm actually interested to hear this one. A lot of people, you know, are excited about the upcoming election and how this ref referendum will like, ex uh, affect its results. So a lot of people want to know this. Um, would you, because of the Social Democrat Taoiseach calling this referendum, would that mean you'd be more open to um, entering government with the Social Democrats in future? Um, no, I don't share any common beliefs with the Social Democrats. I mean, Fianna Fáil is more of a fiscally conservative party. Uh, we're more non-interventionist, we're more pro-Europeanist, which is the Social Democrats. Still, I would consider, while well, they consider themselves neutral, I feel they more lean towards the loyalist side. So, I don't right. plan to work with them. I just think they're an establishment party at this point. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact they did bring up a referendum, um, even though I was already working on a referendum, but anyways. Right, right, I get you. Well, thank you so much for spending some of your time here in a very much unnamed shop with Warner Media. Um, and yeah, that's all really we have to ask you. Thanks for coming. Right, thank you.